How to write a narrative paragraph. A narrative paragraph tells a chronological story, either real or fictional. A good narrative paragraph begins with a topic sentence that introduces the tale you're going to tell. It's followed by the telling of the story and then a brief conclusion to reflect on what happened. Your paragraph should be self-contained and provide all the information the reader needs to understand the central event. By providing these essential elements, you can craft a narrative paragraph that tells a brief but complete story for your readers. 1. Introducing your story. Plan to tell your narrative from the first or third person perspective. Use I, he, she, it, or they as the subject to tell your story. While narrative paragraphs are most often told from the first person perspective, relating a story that happened to you, they can also be told from a third person perspective. You could relate something that happened to someone else, even a fictional person. Use a consistent tense. Refer to the prompt or guidelines for the assignment, if applicable, to determine which tense you should use. If there are none, you can choose either past or present tense. Just be sure to use one tense consistently throughout the entire paragraph, and avoid switching between tenses. The exception would be if you were switching between the current discussion of the story's meaning in present tense and the narrative of the story's events past tense. Create an engaging topic sentence. Draw the reader into your narrative paragraph by creating excitement or suspense with your opening sentence. This sentence should introduce the purpose of the paragraph, the story, and make the reader want to read further. A good first-person topic sentence might be, I'll never forget the time I picked out my new puppy. If you were using third person, the same topic sentence would be written, he would never forget the time he picked out his new puppy. Present any major characters involved in the story. Introduce any people who will play an important role in the story so the reader understands who is a part of the narrative. You don't need to introduce every character you will talk about, but it's helpful to introduce people who advance the action. For the first-person example about picking out a new puppy, you might continue, My mom drove me to the breeder, which was 45 minutes away. Set the scene of the story. Provide a setting for your story and orient your reader to the time your story happens. This helps them place themselves in the narrator's shoes and understand their state of mind for the events. You might say, I was 11, so the car ride seemed like an eternity. We lived in Wisconsin at the time, and the breeder was in Chicago. All background information after the topic sentence, such as other characters and where the story takes place, should be approximately one to four sentences long. Plan to write a narrative paragraph of at least nine sentences. Write one topic sentence, one to four sentences of background information, two to four sentences to start the story, three to five sentences to present the conflict, one to three sentences to resolve the conflict, and one to two sentences to provide a conclusion. While the length of your paragraph will vary based on the content, a standard five-sentence paragraph likely will not provide enough detail to tell a complete narrative. 